Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Ben 10 Omni Kick figures from the Ben 10 Reboot series. Get it, Omni Kick, because like Omnitrix. So this is yet another new gimmick transformation power-up we're getting for one of the new seasons. Kind of like an armored power-up. I mean, we had that with Shock Rock and we're doing another one. I'll get into that later. But this is actually a wave of several new figures that I'll be covering later together when I find them. But since this was kind of new exciting, I wanted to talk about it because I didn't really uh, know that these were going to be out right this second. They just honestly kind of appear out of nowhere, to be honest. But here's the back. You can sort of see a little description on this. And then up here, if you want to pause it, you can see a description on uh, these new alien types if you're interested. But this wave includes, in addition to the ones I have, you have a Shock Rock one, a Cannon Bolt one, and then also you have Bash Mouth over here, who's hidden down here, which is really weird, because usually they group the new ones together. Everyone else here is already from previous waves. But so I will be covering them all together um, at some point soonish, but I wanted to take a look at them. But yeah, they're basically power-up armored versions of the figures. And I saw this on the shelf and I was like really surprised to see it all of a sudden because honestly the Playmates toys kind of just appear randomly for me. And just looking at his head, it's kind of neat because you have the flame here and then you can actually take this off and you can see this almost kind of reminds me of Water Hazard or Water Hazard. Um, so what's the Water Hazard copy? Overflow and um, NRG just because of the, the suit even though the, the helmet's not really the same. But when I saw it just like this, I almost thought is this an Overflow power up? But no, it's Heat Blast and I do kind of like that the general design of this fits in with what Heat Blast looks like and it kind of looks more like he's in a suit and it looks kind of different which I think is kind of cool. So I like aspects of that. You can tell it's different because the Omnitrix symbol is going the other way, guys. <gasps> but yeah, it's kind of a neat design and it's a pretty decent figure. I kind of wish this was hollow or something. It feels like this is a little bit weird and unfinished, but yeah. You have some decent articulation here so you can get some poses going on. Um, some swiveling here, some decent articulation here as well. You can't move the head unless I'm just not pressing hard enough, but I'm pressing pretty hard and you can't move the head around, so I'm 99% sure there's no head articulation. You can move this though, but that's going to look weird, right? It kind of looks like a mohawk of fire but yeah, pretty standard stuff. I think overall, even though I think these figures have some weaker ones, these are all pretty standard solid figures, like, or pretty standardly solid figures. Like, they're all pretty well painted, pretty well articulated. They usually look at least pretty close to what they look like in the show, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with these figures in general. Then we have Diamond Head here. Of course, I'm happy he got a power up because he's my favorite alien, and this does look pretty cool. I mean, I have the same thought with this and the Shock Rock power up that we had in, like, season, what, two, that they... Does Diamond Head need armor? His power is B's armor. And I guess, like, if you saw the description, his power is kind of like Chromastone. But, I don't know. It's kind of neat, I guess. There's kind of aspects to it that I like. I like the look of it. I think it looks pretty neat. I kind of like the Shock Rock one more because the Sword and Shield thing kind of made sense to me. And I like the Knight look. This looks more robotic. Almost like what one of the like species would wear kind of like tetrax but i do like the design of it i think they pull it off well i think the paint looks good i like the aspect of these and you can kind of shift them around so you can have them coming out like this which is kind of cool i think there's other directions they could have taken this to be a little bit more cool and a little bit different somehow rather than just being chromostone's powers but whatever uh, same thing with the articulation you have some pretty solid range here uh, so you can get some at least decent ish poses i always appreciate that uh the, i like the yellow here i mean i don't actually like it i don't i think it kind of clashes but i like that they keep it from the the core design of his suit, which I think is a nice touch. So, like, I personally don't like the yellow on it, but I appreciate the design continuity of it. But yeah, he's a pretty solid look. He looks almost a little bit cheaper, though, with some of the gray plastic in this one. It's on this one, too, but for whatever reason, because it's more prominent, part of it looks a little bit cheaper, but I do also kind of dig it. I think these are really interesting takes on the power-ups, and it's kind of weird with these because... I, we do have a new power-up for Shock Rock, I'll give him that, but I feel like instead of doing new aliens, all the new series has been doing is giving power-up forms to the classic aliens, and I don't mind that idea, and I kind of dig the creativity, but I feel like the power-up armor idea of this, even though different in design, is so similar to the Omni-enhanced ones we got previously, and I kind of wish we got something a little different, but... I do like these two toys. I think if you're a fan of these forms, they're worth checking out. Again, pretty soon I will be checking out all of them once I track them down uh, for this wave. But yeah, cool new stuff on the horizon. I do appreciate that they're at least thinking outside the box a little bit. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get notifications for all my videos. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.